What's up guys? Today we're going to be fishing with live ghost shrimp. And that's what they look like right there. Um, for those of you who haven't seen the previous two videos of this little mini series, I uh, made my own little ghost shrimp pump and went and go pump these up myself rather than buying them in the store. Um, so if you want to check those two videos, I'll leave them linked in the description below. But before we start fishing with these, I want to show you guys how I like to rig these up. And there's a couple ways you can rig them up. So I got a fish finder set up here, three ounce sinker to our leader. And there's a couple ways that you can do it. One is you can thread them through the tail end and just thread the whole whole uh, ghost shrimp on there. Um, or what I like to do, especially with these bigger ones, is just rip the head off. You just take the head off like that. And then you throw that out and then you're left with just the tail. And once you do that, you can thread the whole tail on like that. And one problem that a lot of people have with these ghost shrimp is they're not very uh, firm, so they fall off the hook pretty well, or pretty easy. Um, so to deal with that, I have this magic thread, they call it. And what it is, it's really just some elastic thread. Um, I'll leave it linked in the description below if you want to get your own. So you can see it there, all it is is just this elastic thread. And what that's going to do is that's going to hold this ghost shrimp on a lot better than if we didn't have it. So we thread it on, and then wrap it a couple of times with this elastic thread. And cinch it down, rip it off, and there you go. That's the bait we're going to be using today. So as you can see, it's held on a lot better when you tie this string on there. And that's the finished product right there. That's a perfect little treat for what we're fishing for today. And today we're going to be fishing out in the surf um, for some surf perch and possibly some striped bass. We're, we're kind of in the off season for striped bass, so it probably won't get find any around here, but you never know out in the surf. So anyway, now that you know how to rig these up, let's go head out to the surf and try them out. If you haven't seen the first two videos from this series, here's what they look like. Uh, it's kind of a funky looking creature, but basically it's orange on the top and got these claws. These ones, this is a female, so the claws are smaller. The males have big pictures in the front. And uh, yeah, these are ghost shrimp. Alright, so for those of you who are new to uh, surf fishing or surf perch fishing, one tip I would give you is if you don't catch anything uh, within maybe five, ten minutes, keep moving down the beach. I started about 100 feet down to my right, one cast, left it in there for a little bit. Didn't really get any bites, so moved down a little bit. And uh, that'll help you locate the fish, especially when you're fishing somewhere new um, or somewhere you haven't been in a while where you don't know where the fish are. Finding the fish can be uh, half the battle, so leave it in there for a little bit down a little ways down the beach, try again, and just keep moving until you find those fish. A couple small bites on here, and they didn't seem to get hooked, but they may have taken our bait, so let's check out what we got here. Yep, they took our bait. So there is fish here, and they are eating ghost shrimp, so that's a good sign. We just need to catch them now. Nice little tasty treat for a surf perch. Oh, we got one. Could be quite possibly the smallest surf perch out there. Oh god. Well the ghost shrimp worked. Not exactly what we are hoping to catch here, but it's a start. Yes. This is the life. Kicking back, waiting for your pole to bend. All 
right guys, not too much luck here at this first beach, so I'm gonna pack up and head to another beach and try, so try it again. All right, new beach, hopefully better luck here. Yep, there's fish on here. On the go shrimp. And surf fishing is pretty slow today. But uh, we're managing to power through with these go shrimp. Forgot these finicky fish. Not a monster, but when fishing stuff like this, we'll take anything we can get. Not a bad one by any means. There you go. There's our first fish on the ghost shrimp. All right, so fishing was tough today, but we managed to get one decent one to add that little minnow that we got earlier on the ghost shrimp. And we still got some daylight left. Let's see if we can get some more. Oh, there's another one. Hey, maybe the bite's starting to turn on here. Well, maybe not. Not biting too much. Oh, it came off. Dang it. Oh, they're biting a little bit better now. I think maybe the bite's starting to turn on here in the evening. Let's see, what time is it? Just to give you an idea. It's five o'clock now. A low tide today was, I think, around noon. So I believe high tide's probably around 6 o'clock, somewhere around there. So we're about an hour before the high tide. And I'm hoping that this bite starts to turn on here. We just had two hits on back-to-back -back casts, which is a good sign. So hopefully there's more to come. Well, it's not a giant, but I think we got another frish on here. Oh yeah, it's a little surf perch. Ski him in on the top here. I started running low on uh, ghost shrimp, so I switched over to the uh, Berkeley Gulp Sandworm. And this is actually a red tail surf perch, so let's take a look at it real quick. I don't think I have caught one on the, the channel yet, so for those of you who have not seen these, they're pretty similar to the barred surf perch with the ones I normally catch. That these have reddish fins, and you can tell them uh, separate from a calico, which also has reddish fins, as this dorsal fin here is, comes to a point, then comes back down. And they're not as round like a calico; they're more elongated. And uh, so these in California have to be ten and a half inches in order to keep. This one's not going. to make it not by a lot it's probably like six or seven inches so he's going back but that's cool so we actually caught three species already today one silver moon eye surf perch one barred and then this red tail and there he goes so three fish today so far and three different species and as you can see the sun's about to set i have one more ghost shrimp left so before the sun sets, I'm going to tie that one on, but I'll throw a couple more casts with this uh, sandworm, see if we can get another, another fish before that. And so the sandworm is basically a cast and retrieve type deal, whereas, oh, had a bite there, whereas the uh, ghost shrimp just kind of cast and let it soak. So I'm just going to tie on the whole thing, hoping that maybe a bigger bait will catch me a bigger fish. Okay, now that's tied on there, nice and tight. And hopefully, if all goes as planned, perch will eat it. Alright guys, it's going to wrap it up for me today, unfortunately. I love on that last ghost shrimp. Uh, but we did manage to catch three fish, so hopefully, ghost shrimp, productive bait.
get out here and surf. And as uh, mentioned the previous, in the beginning of the video, uh, let's go ship for a variety of species, striped bass, surf perch, all kinds of But what I really want to catch out here and I haven't caught yet is a sturgeon. And when it's that later on this year when the sturgeon are running, I can go pump some ghost shrimp and go end up catching a sturgeon on one of those. So stay tuned for that one. Hopefully to come later on this year. If you like the, the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, let me know what you want to see next on the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.